So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In this video we're going to talk about visualization. I'm going to show you an easy trick that you can implement right now that will make your Power BI files or report shine. So let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so having custom backgrounds on your Power BI files can make a huge difference. Let me show you an example. This is a file that Microsoft showed for marketing purposes or like a bake off or something, I, I'm not sure. But you can see here that it looks stunning, right? So let me show you something. If I go to the page formatting, there's nothing selected here, page formatting and page background and get rid of the background image, you'll see that it looks quite dull right away. Let me show you another page. Here we have a gorgeous report. I get rid of the background and then look, it looks like any Power BI file that you'll see out there in the wild, right? So having a um, custom image, it just makes such a huge difference. Now, if you're working on a report, you give it to somebody else and they are starting to create a new page, what you want to do is exactly what happens here, that a background image is already there by default. So every time you open a new page, you see, so you don't have this dull, bland, blank, white page uh, when you do it. For example, let me show you. Here I have the exact same report, but I don't have the automatic background. So look at that. I create a new page and I'm faced with this, right? So how do you do it? How do you modify Power BI so it actually creates a background image on every new page you create? You do it once and then you're done for each file though. So this is what we're going to do. You go to the view pane and then themes and then you're going to save the theme that is in there. You have the possibility to customize a little bit in case you want and then you go, you save it. Um, I've already saved it so I'm not going to save it again. And I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, so this is the file that we just unloaded. Um, you can open it with a Notepad, Notepad++, uh, Visual Studio. I'm using Visual Studio because it reads and supports JSON, so it makes the formatting a lot easier to see with colors and indentation and things like that. So you can see here, um, we're going to modify it a little bit so we can actually read it better. Um, so, Visual Styles and this is how it looks. So as you can see, they've already done a ton of formatting to most of the charts they're using, which is a good thing. But they don't have this add a um, background image. So to do that, this little piece of code is what it does. That is the formatting properties for a page. So we have uh, the name, which is a background, the scaling, which is fit. And then I'll show you how to do this in a second and then the transparency will set it to zero. Let's do the image formatting first, and then I'll show you how to copy paste this into your theme. So what I have is this image, which I have here in Photoshop, and uh, what I normally do is I save for web, so you get the highest quality with the smallest size, basically. And once you have that, you're going to grab this, and you're going to drop it into the same service that we used before, is this base64, I'll post the link down below, is going to convert it and then you're going to click here show code. This, for using image elements, this is the exact code you need. So you copy to the clipboard and then you paste everything between the quotation marks. So let me show you. If I actually go back to here, so you go from there to there, maybe I should do Okay, maybe I should show you how it is done. So we go and grab everything from there. I delete it. So this is how it should look like. This is the URL and then you paste what you copy from the other service and that's all. That's all you need to do. And now you have the, the correct uh, syntax and now you're going to copy these. And for the Microsoft Power BI file that we are using, you paste these up here, up here, right? And then you should get no issues. And then if you don't have any format, anything before, this is actually what you're going to get. So you're not going to get any visual formatting, visual style. So you need to copy this entire thing for it to work. 
So you will have to go there, comma, and then paste the entire thing. And then you're going to be missing probably a curly bracket. So you see this one is that one. If you have a, a editor, JSON editor, it will tell you how many of these things you need. And that this is the file that you need instead. So we're going to save it and go to our old file. This is the one that without, you see? We're going to themes, uh, browse for themes, and then we're going to get our MS themes. And we've done everything correctly. The, um, you see that it appears right away, you see? So every time I open a new page is there. And if you don't want it in that page, in the cell, in that page, I just don't want that, I want something else, you can actually get rid of it. It's no problem with that. But every time you create a new page, boom, it shows. Right? So how good is this? This is really, really brilliant. Create your custom themes, your custom background, put in your theme, and your users will love you for this. Now, obviously, every time you open a new Power BI report, you need to import that theme. So you, make to, you need to make sure that that theme is available for your users in order to be able to have this, or when they are opening a new file, you create a PowerPoint, a Power BI template, and then the theme will be included. So both ways will work to distribute that to your organization. So I hope this was useful. I thought that your Power BI reports is there shining like a star. And I will see you again tomorrow on my second channel. If you are viewer there, we will do um, bullet charts. And otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday, as always, with a new short. A really cool tip, actually, <laughs> on Thursday. See you soon. Bye.